Good evening. Welcome to Sun 20 TV and the Bay Street Theater for an evening of murder. Well, that's the best Hitchcock I can do. You know, Hitchcock did a great movie, Dial M for Murder. It was a Broadway show many years ago, and now it has been revived, and it's right here at Bay Street Theater in Sag Harbor. Now, this version, directed by the famous Tony Award-winning director, Walter Bobby, is a little different, a little more comedic, but still a thriller. And it's all about dialing M for murder. Funny to think that a year ago I was sitting in that pub actually planning to murder my wife. But I might have done it if I hadn't seen something that changed my mind. What was it you saw? I saw you. I'm here with the lovely uh, Tracy Mitchell, president, general manager, chef, <laughs> cook, bottle well, washer. Cook and bottle washer. You got it. Whatever I, uh, needs to be done, I we try understand. and do it. Hey, happy opening night. Thank much. It's good to see you. Yeah, it is going to be a great night tonight. I'm very excited for everyone to see this particular presentation of Dial M for Murder. Yes, yes. It's a new adaptation by uh, Jeffrey Hatcher. So. Yeah, how about that? Hatcher Murder. Yeah, right. Boy, did he have the right name for this? Hacksaw. Right. right. Hack it up. <laughs> But it's got a lot of twists and turns in this one, and this is why, if you don't come tonight, you, you should see this for the run of the show. That's right. This, uh, this runs now through July 23rd, so you've got plenty of time to see it. We also have some added shows this week in particular because it's the holiday week, so we figured a lot more people out here, so added shows. This is a big night tonight. We're going to talk to Walter Bobby. And, and how's it so been working Let out? me tell you, this man is talented beyond belief. There's a reason, you know, he's a Broadway uh, Tony Award winning director. Um, he did the most recent Chicago on, on uh, Broadway. At any rate, he's not only an incredible director, but he's a, a mensch. And he's our mensch. He's an, he's an East End mensch. He lives in Watermill. Um, so it's really lovely to have him here. Uh, he was here, he comes, he's been to see everything in the past. And last summer, I remember talking to him, standing right where we are now, and saying, why aren't you directing a show for us? And yeah. He's, and he said, well, let me think about that. And think about it. And he and Scott talked. And sure enough, they found something they wanted to do together. Nice. Dial in for murder. You probably might be familiar with the Hitchcock movie. It's a comedy thriller. Now, when I watch the Hitchcock movie, it's kind of funny, but you know Hitchcock not a comedic kind of guy. No, it's very no. kind of so, dry, dark a little bit. Yeah. This I understand is much different. Yes, it is a lot different. Tell Inspector Hubbard about the blackmail note. Blackmail note? Yes, show it to the inspector, will you? Oh dear, now I've got my fingerprints on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is still a thriller. It still will have you on the edge of your seat. If we do things right, you will be on the edge of your seat. <laughs> right. Um, but there are very comedic moments throughout, and the cast is beyond. And that's due to them. Second show of the season. Yes. Can you believe the third already? show is? The third one is called Tales of the Gutenberg. Tales from yeah, the that's Gutenberg right. Bible. That's right. Starring it's Steve, Steve Gutenberg, Gutenberg who right. play, there's four actors, 90 characters. Wow. Yeah, it's his story. It's his life story of moving from Massapequa to L.A. at the age of 17 and then, you know, having this huge, huge movie career and all the people that he met along the way. Excellent. All right, that will be the next show after we dial up some murder. And that's why they call it the red carpet. That's right. <laughs> there you go. Join us here at Bay Street. We're live and we're local the way it should be 63. Right here, it's Bill Evans at Bay Street Theater. Right here on Bay Street for 92.1 LNG. I had to calm her down, so I pulled her away from the body, which is when the police arrived. That's why she never retrieved the letter. I'm here with Scott Schwartz, the artistic hey, director. Hey, yeah. I'm here with Eric Siegel, Siegel Eric is on the board. I, this is uh, a lot of power right here. I'm all nervous. This is a lot of power standing on this spot right now. It's really pay, you, I had though. I pay extra to be here with him. <laughs> <laughs> Being on the board is a, is a little gift of money, but you also get to decide on the show, or at least you get to vote on them, right? I learned one thing a long time ago. I listen to the experts, and they go along with the experts. That's a good board member. 
a really good board member, and in all seriousness, we have a fantastic board that's really supportive of the art we do here. Well, that's awesome, and these shows you pick out, you, know, you pick them out ahead of time, you, you know, you work to achieve a goal, which is more doing more shows. So you want to sell tickets, so you got to pick some shows that are you're going to draw a crowd. Well, absolutely, but we also want to pick shows that are of the highest caliber. Artistically, the people working with us, so we bring the best that theater can be here to Sac Harbor. Have you seen the show yet? This one, no. Tonight's my first night with this All right. One. I'm, I'm looking I'm, forward to it. I'm going to give something away. It's fantastic. <laughs> We're... <laughs> He's wonderful. He, nothing is bad. He's so for, for all the murder addicts out there, you know, they watch all these murder shows on TV. You oh, know. it's perfect. It's this amazing thriller. It has all these twists and turns. She'll change her will. You'll have done it all for nothing. The cast is unbelievable. They're funny. They're brilliant. They're wonderful to watch. It's it's a really fun, twisty night right. in the theater. Yeah, Miss Gummer is some legacy talent, I understand. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we all know that one. She's a pretty major legacy. Her mother is Meryl Streep, but she is amazing, Mamie. We're so lucky to have her here. Oh, that's great. I've seen her on Broadway, and she is very, very good. Very, she really very, is. very good. On the board here, do you get good seats? Uh, do I get good seats? <laughs> I, I hope so. I, I, I hope that it's sold out that they don't have a seat for me. I, that, that would even be, that they're be spoken better. like a good board member. Somebody with some experience. You're a wise man. There. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Tracy told us there are about three seats left. So. Oh, yeah. We're really full tonight. And actually, Dial-M is selling really well. I mean, it's it's a popular ticket, so folks should get their tickets now. The show itself, you know, most people will remember it from Hitchcock. But it's got some kind of revised or new written in twists into it, or a new little more humor. Absolutely. I was a writer. Oh, would I have read anything you'd written? Not unless you had a job rejecting manuscripts. <laughs> it's adapted by a wonderful contemporary play playwright named Jeffrey Hatcher. And he's taken the original script by Frederick Knott, and he's uh, cut it a little bit, made it funnier, and made it feel a little more contemporary. I don't want to give anything away, but I think the audience will come and really feel like, wow, this feels like a new show. You're going to hang me tomorrow and no one will help. And then is when I noticed the door was unlocked. <laughs> yeah, if you've never seen Dial In for Murder, a husband finds out that he, well, he thinks his wife is cheating on him. And so he's, he sets out that's to... That's a very rare occasion. He sets out to <laughs> murder her, and yeah. boy, that's what it all, the wheels come up with. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's a plot which is not unusual, but the performances are. That and the good. twists make it... I understand the set direction, is the set and everything is oh, unbelievable. It, it's a stunning set. Anna Luisa, who's done many sets for us, including Evita and Ragtime last summer, designed the set for this. She's also a major Broadway good. set designer. Thank you, gentlemen. No, it's our Thank pleasure. you for bringing us a great show. And remind the people, there's more to come this summer. Right. Much more to come. Right? Well, Bay Street's such a jewel here. You get Broadway shows out here in the country. It is nice. It's very special. Yeah, you can't beat it. Thank you. Thank you guys Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. It doesn't get much bigger than this to be able to be with Broadway director Walter Bobby, who is here, and he's won Tony Award, Drama Desk, Outer Critic Awards, Best Director for the international version of Chicago. You've done so much. And you know what I have been watching lately that I saw that you were the artistic director of was City Center's Encore. Yes, I was the artistic director there for several years. In fact, Chicago started at Encore's and it was such a success, we moved it to Broadway. And now we've been all over the world and running on Broadway for over 25 years. Well, congratulations on all your achievements. You, you read all of that and you would say, well, God, the guy's about done it all. But you still have a lot left in the tank. I, you know, I've just loved it so much. I've been in show business right since, right after I got to New York. I was in the original cast of Grease on Broadway as an actor in 1972. I have had such a wonderful ride in the theater as both an actor, an artistic director, a director, a writer sometimes, and I've worked with remarkable, remarkable people. It's been beyond my wildest dreams. The people I find myself in company with, it's just been thrilling. I understand the cast that you work with, everybody's raving about? Oh yes, well I've worked with 
several of them. I've never worked with Reg Rogers. Mamie and I have worked together before. Uh, Max and I were in, I acted with Max, and we were both in a, uh, a revival of St. Joan on Broadway. Eric has been in our production of Chicago several times. Uh, Rosa is new to me. She auditioned, and I loved her, and so we hired her. And Reg, I've just been a big fan of forever. The guy right, right. shows up on stage, and I'm tickled immediately. See, He's just a couple. There you go. How do you like this version of Dial M? It's been rewritten. Well, I I wasn't looking for anything to do. I've worked with Jeffrey Hatcher before as well, but I read the script and I thought, this is such a witty reinvention of this classic story. And Scott asked me if I wanted to do it, and I immediately said yes. Um, I think he's done something smart. It's the same story, but it, he's done something that makes it feel contemporary and, and fresh. Very good. I didn't know you were out here most of the time now. Yes, I've had a house out here since the early 90s, since 92, and I've been here, but uh, we pretty much, we live here permanently now the last several years, ever since COVID. Um, and I, we have a place in the city if I need you, but we, we, we're living out here these days. Right. And and anything next on, the, on your agenda? What do you got going on? Well, truthfully, I can't wait to get back to my studio. I've been painting a lot in the past three years. Oh, excellent. I've had a couple uh, things, show, I have a couple show at... Uh, at Judy Key's gallery here. So I will read things and I'll see what happens next, but I'm I'm sort of very happy with my quieter life out here. Yeah. Um, but I'm not sure what the next thing is, but while I'm waiting, I'm back in the studio painting. Excellent. Yeah. Well, look forward to that. We have Julie on uh, all off of Oh, Julie's a yeah. We would, uh, we'll go over there and... and yeah, she gave me my first work. show last year. Very nice. Yeah. Hey, that's but, awesome. uh, yeah, and I did a mini series as an actor uh, a couple years ago, uh, Dope Sick, which was uh, fun to do about the Sackler brothers. I played one of the Sacklers. So I have, um, I float between directing and. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, what is the, to the old adage directors want to be actors, actors want to be directors? It, it sounds like you're good at both. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've had the Do you prefer one over the other? No. I like being in the room with talented people, and I think that that's been. My privilege in show business that every time I'm in a room, I'm just impressed, stunned, in, exhilarated uh, by the people I get to collaborate with. It's been I mean, The last show I did in Broadway was with Edie Burkell and, and uh, Seat Martin. To spend years in a room developing a show, it was called Bright Star. With talent at that level is, uh, is something you dream of when you're a young kid wanting to get in show business. Sure. So, yeah. We knew Ms. Brickell in Dallas, Texas. Oh, I think she's going to come. Yeah, I think good. She, she and Paul are going to come in a couple Yeah, we watched her launch her career with the band in Dallas down in Deep Ellum. She, performed she calls me Bubba. <laughs> exactly. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Well, this has been a real kick for us to get yeah. to talk to you. Congratulations and happy Thank opening you. night. Thank you so much. Yes, really. It's been a real kick.